Mm -hmm. I don't want to put words into your mouth, but I know we've talked about this one coin and you mentioned proof of stake and you also mentioned, um, you know, high fees along those lines. What are some solutions for high fees out there that potentially, because I know there's another technology out there, proof of history, and how does that kind of tie into valuable cryptocurrency that could be in the market? Which leads me perfectly to my third pick, um, Solana. So Solana is basically, um, they've rethought the whole system or whole like um, architecture or protocol of putting, um, taking, sourcing transactions into a block and putting them onto the uh, um, blockchain. Um, they have very, very talented people working on their team um, that have worked on some of like the radio frequency technologies and all the uh, all like the lower level stuff that we so heavily rely on today and so it's not surprising that they've come up with such a brilliant solution solana and they solana's speed um and transaction fees costs enables a whole um world of applications that were just not simply possible using um using other decentralized uh, protocols um the reason why and today we we're fine using paypal we're fine using a lot of like centralized stuff is because it works so great we don't have to wait there there's always someone on the other side um buying or selling and uh you don't have to wait for your transactions to to go through because uh the, it's a central centralized system and that's often the benefits of having a centralized system like your UI, your UX is user experience is just going to be so much better because it's faster. Um, so that's what uh, Solana enables. So yeah, this is just a quick demonstration of how fast Solana is. I'm going to do it on their test network. Um, basically, we're going to be sending transactions onto the Solana network, and uh, we're going to see how fast they actually um, uh, get validated and put on the blockchain. Um, so I'm going to press this and we're going to do it for 15 seconds. I'm going to be just pressing random keys. So these are all, every single block is one single transaction that's being sent. Uh, once they turn green, that's all the transaction being um, at all that's another block. So it's going to quickly compare what it's, um, okay. So it's confirming it. Um, this is a test network. If you want to do it with actual uh, actual Solana um, with your wallet, um, you could do that too. So when you're sending Solana, for example, to somebody, so it's going to be, be it's going to be sent as fast as these things are kind of lighting up. Right. So let's see. Um, so we sent 443 transactions within 15 seconds. And that only took up 0.059% of Solana's capacity. But if you were to do the same thing on Ethereum, that would have taken 196% of their capacity. Same thing on Bitcoin, that would be 642% of Bitcoin's capacity. Um, so what does that really mean though, like capacity, like in terms of... of so every, every 10 minutes, for example, in Bitcoin's case, they tally up all the transactions and they put them on the blockchain. Solana's uh, time to take the transaction, put them onto the blockchain is it's like in in milliseconds, and um, so it, it's like it has to do with the block time. So uh, Ethereum's block time is ten seconds. Um, Bitcoin's block time is ten minutes. Solana's block time is, I think, right now they're at four hundred milliseconds. They're trying to cut that down to eighty milliseconds, which is um, which is how fast. Um, it takes um, electricity or internet, or whatever, to go through optic fiber cables. So, which is insanely fast. And so, each of these transactions are actually on the blockchain. So we can go on the Explorer and check it out um, that this is a successful transaction. Um, so this is this is insanely cool. the The fact that that Solana can have like just applications like this just to test the network out is insane. Like you wouldn't get that on Ethereum. Like if you were to send th this many transactions on the Ethereum network, it would clog up the network. And right. once the network is clogged, 
the transaction fees go insanely high because because in order to in order for your transaction to be mined and put onto the blockchain, people need to pay an an absurd amount of fees. You need to if you want your transaction to be faster, you need to eat, pay even more. Agree. Like sometimes upwards of eighty dollars just for a five dollar transaction or something, which is an insane amount of money. Um, which is something they're working on, and I'm still very bullish on Ethereum. Right. But the type of things that this can enable are still being thought out. Uh, but just to give you an idea, um, it enables something called 